Welcome back to Boston Industry Channel. We keep guiding you through the world of augmented reality to show how your business can leverage disruptive technologies and gain a competitive edge. Today, we'll raise the subject of what can be legitimately called the greatest standoff of the past few years in AR, augmented reality on web versus native mobile applications. One of the most frequent questions we at Post Industria hear from jewelry brands is why bother developing a mobile app with a virtual try-on when you can integrate AR directly into the brand's web page? Sounds legit, doesn't it? Business owners are concerned about potential customers migrating to an app from the brand's website. However, the reality is somewhat different. When thinking about AR on the web, jewelry brands should rather worry about the quality of the product that their customers see. But that's only one of the challenges that developing a web-based virtual try-on for jewelry entails. But before talking about challenges and risks, let's figure out what web-based AR is and how it differs from AR on mobile. AR solutions of web allow users to activate AR experiences through a web browser without downloading an app. Usually, the AR experience is launched through a custom URL or a QR code. Users can scan a marker to see the AR content in their environment through the web browser. Web-based virtual try-on mostly rely on plugins that enable AR and real-time tracking technology. Since machine learning models for this technology are available in a browser, their code is also available to anyone who would like to copy and learn from them. The Face Mesh package, for example, for tracking key landmarks on faces, is a popular ML model that developers made public and can be used to develop try-on solutions. Similar examples of WebAR software are widely used in fashion retail. Virtual try-on for makeup, eyewear, hats, and other accessories rely on a face tracking technique to create an approximate 3D facial surface geometry and overlay a product in the proper position. However, you'll rarely find a web-based virtual try-on for rings, and there is more than one reason for that. One of the key barriers to developing virtual try-on for jewelry, in particular for rings, is that there are no high-quality open-source solutions available. Developing a virtual ring try-on is a very labor-intensive process that requires complex calculations to estimate a finger's width, landmark detection for proper rendering of a 3D ring model, and numerous approximations until the desired result is achieved. This leads to the first challenge related to making virtual ring try-on available from a browser. Jewelry brands risk losing competitive advantage. What does this mean? Anything on the web can be copied, including 3D models of jewelry pieces, rendering, shaders, and even the code for ML solutions. This poses a direct threat to jewelry brands. They risk losing their competitive advantage of offering a custom virtual try-on. It's much harder to copy something from a native app, since all the information is encrypted in binary code, which only skilled software engineers can decipher. Another challenge is that the scope of the development work is unclear. Web-based AR requires testing a host of features. For instance, several versions of the same try-on plugin must be developed to ensure compatibility with various browsers, like Opera, Safari, Chrome, or Firefox. The major problem here is that the scope of development becomes unclear. In comparison, when working with the native apps, developers have to provide only two versions of the solution, one for iOS and one for Android. Also, network connection delays can cause trouble. The problem here is that augmented reality web experiences rely on Wi-Fi or mobile phone networks, either of which can cause data transmission delays. You just got pranked! This affects the overall performance of browser try-on plugins. A native app doesn't require an internet connection. Further, native apps have access to all of devices' capabilities, whereas a web page can access only certain features. And last but not least is that rendering capabilities are limited in web browsers. Rendering and manipulating photorealistic 3D models of jewelry pieces is very resource-consuming in terms of computational power. This results in lower quality of try-on on the web. Despite the challenges listed above, augmented reality web experiences including virtual try-on available from a browser can bring jewelry brands substantial benefits. Ability to track brand engagement and audience's interest through Google Analytics, better audience targeting than an app AR can offer, easier integration into a brand's website as opposed to developing a native AR app from scratch. 
And what business owners like so much is that it's cheaper to acquire customers on a web page, since conversion rates here are generally higher compared to in-app purchases. However, no AR on the web will ever guarantee the quality of photorealistic rendering of diamonds that mobile app users experience interacting with an app of a jewelry brand. So what will you choose? Cheaper customer acquisition with risks related to releasing your AR solution on the web or top-notch quality of gemstones rendering with a longer customer journey in a mobile app? It's up to you to decide. An alternative option is an in-browser application that works partially from a browser as an inbound app. This solution is supposed to take visitors from the brand's website to an inbound app without the need to download anything. This option combines the best of both worlds and can be a viable alternative to a full-fledged web-based AR trying solution to help brands avoid the potential risks that were mentioned above. I really hope this video answered the questions you had about web-based AR and native applications. Remember to subscribe to our channel to keep track of the latest trends in the world of tech. And see you in our next video.